big crowd out there still. Yeah. Thank you for that. As businesses in downtown Grand Rapids continue to rebuild after the weekend, some artists now finding a way to bring some light to all of those boarded up windows. And that behind us is just one example. Our Michael Martin spoke to them this afternoon as they finished up their first project. We've had a ton of people just reaching out from the community, people we don't even know and um, people we want to know, you know, but um, just random acts of kindness. Shasta Faye, owner of Old World Olive Press on Monroe Center, is still in the process of repairing the damage done to her store during the peaceful protest later turned violent Saturday night. We all are good people and sometimes people get caught up in the wrong things. And I think um, the kindness and the love and the support that's been shown to us just kind of reassures that. After seeing the damage downtown, Grand Rapids artist Amelia Volweiler Stanley was inspired to start reaching out to businesses, asking if she and other artists could liven up their boarded windows. I felt the tension um, of, of everything and was worried about all of our people and, and just the emotions that um, needed to be healed. But because it's in a public space, you know, it, it democratizes the art. It brings it to the people. Um, it's, you know, a boots on the ground kind of approach. Amelia reached out to another area artist, Darda Brooks, who started this piece on the side of Old World Olive Press just Wednesday morning. With the boards on the wall, it makes the city, you know, look a little rougher than what it actually is. So um, putting up the art is just our, our ways of showing the light within the darkness or within tough times. The art helping to maintain the momentum of the current cultural movement and bring recovery to our hurting city. The things that are kind of bandaging the windows, so to speak, like, I mean, there's a reason why, you know, we put cartoon characters on kids' band-aids. It, it makes you feel a little bit better. I really feel um, that this is almost a pivotal point for the business. It's almost a let's let's reflect. What have we learned? How can we be better? Um, what can we do to help community, each and every one of us? And I really think that um, maybe that's the lesson that I've taken away.